Jamaican sprint star Shelly Ann Fraser Price has dominated the world of women's sprinting for the last 15 years. In those 15 years, she's gone completely undefeated. In all the World Championships 100 meter events she's competed in, except just one event where she failed to make it to the podium. She is the five time world 100 meter champion and eight time Olympic medalist. But in a surprising turn of events, Shelly Ann Fraser Price has failed to defend the 100 meter title at the ongoing World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Hungary, settling for the bronze medal. What happened on that fateful day? Why did Fraser Price lose the gold medal this time around? Be sure to watch this video till the end to find out Fraser Price's journey to becoming a GOAT in the world of track and field and why she just lost a championship title this season. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's get started with the video. It's one thing to earn a world title and it's another heavy burden to defend the championship title. It calls for consistency of the highest order and an absolute smart strategy that beats all odds. And that's exactly what Jamaica's track sensation Shelly Ann Fraser Price has mastered. For nearly two decades she's been in the game. Her journey has been that of determination and a never give up spirit. From being influenced into track and field by her mom to becoming one of the greatest female sprinters alive, Fraser Price's journey to success has not been an easy one. Hailing from a humble background in a tenement yard of Waterhouse in Kingston, Jamaica, Fraser Price had to overcome the rampant challenge of teenage pregnancy and school dropout in her community to achieve her dream of becoming the greatest sprinter in the world. She started running at the age of four, barefoot, and due to her passion for running, people nicknamed her Merlin Otti, the nine-time Jamaican Olympic medalist sprinter. Her potential in sprinting came to national recognition in 2007 when she competed in the women's 100-meter dash at the Jamaican Championships, placing fifth in the event. This is when everything changed for her as she was among those who represented her country in the women's 4 by 100 meters at the 2007 World Championships in Osaka, Japan. It was her first World Championships but she learned a lot that later changed the trajectory of her sprinting career, unlocking the beast within her. From there, Fraser Price has never looked back. She has faced each international championship with a lot of grit and determination, collecting more and more medals in major events. In 2008, at the young age of 21 years, Fraser Price shocked the world by winning a gold medal in the women's 100 meters at the 2008 Olympic Games. Her first ever World Championships 100 meter title came in 2009 during the Berlin World Championships, and since then she's only lost a single 100 meter title at the World Championships. And that was during the 2011 World Championships in Daegu, where Fraser Price failed to stand at the podium following a fourth place finish in the event. In 2013, she bounced back and won the 100m finals at the 2013 World Championships in Moscow. She continued her winning streak in 2015, defending her 100m championship title at the 2015 World Championship in Beijing. Her consistency and incredible speed earned her the nickname Pocket Rocket. However, Fraser Price missed the 2017 World Championships because she went into maternity. She bounced back after the birth of her son Zion, now 6 years old. From being a pocket rocket to becoming a mommy rocket, it was surprising she was still in fine form, winning her last two world titles, that's in 2019 and 2022. The 2019 World Championships victory was her fourth 100m world title, but it didn't stop there. She went on to defend her title in 2022, where she made an incredible mark that season, achieving consistency in running several sub-10.7 events in both the indoors and outdoors, a feat that many elite sprint stars only dream about. And eventually, when the world came in Eugene, Oregon, she managed to achieve 10.67 seconds, winning her fifth world title with a new championship record. This was impressive of Fraser Price, so to speak. And going into this 2023 World Athletics Championships, Shelly Ann Fraser Price was among the athletes to watch for over the women's 100 meters. She was coming into the competition as the defending champion and with a strong track record of five world titles in the event. She knew she was likely to win gold in the event to bring her total world titles to six, and so she was determined to do her best. She started in the prelims of the women's 100 meters by showing good performance, emerging fifth place in the overall qualifiers list with a time of 11.01 seconds. Going into the semis, she was determined to lower her time, and true to that, she did it, qualifying for the finals with a time of 10.89 seconds to place fourth overall behind her major competitors, American Shakari Richardson and Ivorian Marie Josie Talou. Her compatriot Sharika Jackson led the qualifying team with a phenomenal 10.79 seconds. 
At this point, it was already emerging that Shelly Ann Fraser Price had a mountain of tasks ahead of her if she wanted to clinch gold again this season. The competition was looking tough and truly in peak form. Fans' hopes in Fraser Price defending the title continued to dim as the finals of the women's 100 meters came closer. Eventually, the day came. On the third day of the meet, Shelly Ann Fraser Price was lined up along formidable contenders like Sharika Jackson, the world leader with a personal best of 10.65 seconds, Shakari Richardson, the second second fastest woman this season with a personal best of 10.71 seconds and of course there was the Ivorian Marie Josie Talou, the woman who had gone completely undefeated in all 100 meter events she competed in this season and whose personal best stood at 10.75 seconds. Indeed it was going to be an epic showdown but Fraser Price was still hopeful of rewriting history once again just as she's done so many times before. However, fate had something unexpected in store for her. In an unforeseen turn of events, Fraser Price clinched her first bronze medal finishing in 10.77 seconds. She wanted the gold so bad, but it slipped her. This year's World Championships indeed turned out to be different for her. This completely dimmed her dream for a sixth world title at the 100 meters, which would tie her with the legendary pole vaulter Sergei Bubka's record for an individual discipline. American sprinter Shakari Richardson, who took gold in 10.65 seconds, and Jamaican teammate Sharika Jackson, who secured second place in 10.72 seconds, truly stopped Shelly Ann Fraser Price. But why did Fraser Price lose the gold medal in this particular event? Well, several factors contributed to Fraser Price's dismal performance at the Worlds. First, Fraser Price has been battling with a knee injury she picked up back in May during the final preparations for the Kip Kano Classic in Nairobi. And so Fraser Price went into the world with a vulnerability as she had not recovered 100%. This was the biggest letdown in her quest to defend her world title. Secondly, Fraser Price hasn't shown up 100% in the indoor and outdoor meets. Of course, we all know that the meets are significant to athletes as they help them to accustom to different tracks and gauge the position ahead of major events. Her season opener came later, just a month before the World Championships in Budapest. She opened her season with the 200 meters during the Jamaican National Championships, clocking 22.26 seconds. Her 100 meter debut came on July 10th in Lucerne, Switzerland, where she triumphed the event with an impressive time of 10.82 seconds. Her final race before the world's meet came two days later at the 2023 meeting de Atletismo Madrid in Spain, where she equally won the women's 100 meters with a meet record of 10.83 seconds. Now, as you can see, she only participated in three meets, which is not enough to put her in fine form for the world's meet. This goes in line with training. The fact that she didn't grace many meets means that she may have not trained enough for the world compared to a competition. But again, we don't blame her for that as she was still dealing with an injury. However, there is also another factor that may have weighed Fraser Price down at the world's, and that's age. Of course, age is a factor in the world of track and field. However, Fraser Price still seems to be running really faster, even at 36. Well, it may be a factor, it may not be a factor, we'll leave it to you to decide. So there you have it guys, do you think Shelly Ann Fraser Price will bounce back at Paris 2024 after the disappointing third place finish? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this. Thanks for watching.